Welcome to Eagle Vision. This week we'll be looking at a new feature. Stay tuned for more. With all the hype about football, let's take a look at some basketball. I am Avery. With basketball season fast approaching, the boys aren't just tearing it up on the court. Their coaches have taken a different approach than the traditional weight room with swimming exercises. Basketball is just trying to, right now what we're doing is we're working on our cardio uh, endurance, we're working on muscular endurance. We're trying to push the kids as hard as they can go. Uh, we're not sure how hard they work this summer, so we've got to kind of overcome uh, bad habits that were established this summer and try to just get them on the right path going into the season. When does the season start? We officially start after school practice October 23rd. And then our first game will be in November the 15th. So we still got a little while, but it always seems to rush up on you. I'm Avery, and you're watching Eagle Vision. The musical is coming. And you can be part of it. Just try out. There's a time each year when students slow down and take a serious look at life. Students and members of the community came together Wednesday for Seagull at the Pool, an annual gathering of Christian students of all ages at the flagpole in front of the school prayer scripture reading and hymn singing during the early morning before school starts. came out today to, uh, we, we need God back in our schools and it's time for us to make a stand as, as Christians, as believers of Jesus Christ and just want to make a difference in our young people today. In the U.S., school-sponsored prayers in public schools have been found unconstitutional, but prayers organized by students themselves are allowed and protected by free speech rights in the U.S. And I'm just out here to support all the students and uh, pursue at the pole and uh, just gather around the flagpole and pray for our school, faculty, and teachers and uh, just have a good morning. So. For Eagle Vision, I'm Mabry. Welcome. Ready to find out our new teacher of the week? Stay tuned for more. Coach Holloman's a pretty cool coach. He lets us do, you know, whatever we feel like we can do. It doesn't push too hard, but he really inspires you to try harder. And he's really. I attended Florida State University for both undergraduate and graduate school. I teach Algebra II, and I'm the head swimming coach. Coach Holloman pushes me harder to be a better swimmer. My fourth year teaching here at New Caney High School. It's my first year teaching Algebra II. I've been the head swim coach all four seasons, and. I've also taught Algebra 1 and Math Models. My goal for all my students this year is for them to learn enough about the Algebra 2 to become prepared for college entrance exams and be ready when they go on to college. Hope you enjoyed this segment of Teacher of the Week.
That was all for this week's Eagle Vision. Hope to see you next week. This is Cullen with Eagle Vision.